Three, two, one. Marker. Hello. Hello, Gavna. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another uh, podcast. Uh, this is Jamie along with Mega Man Dust. And today we're going to uh, talk about, uh, well, we're just going to wing it as we, uh, you know, we're just going to wing this one out, you know. We haven't had a <laughs> podcast since last year. I think we're way overdue one. This is the second month of the year. And um, we're just going to wing it. I think um, probably one good topic to talk about is, um, um, what's it called? This year Nintendo has several anniversaries going on, you know. Obviously the most, uh, the most um, opulent of all of them will be Legend of Zelda, you know. Which is 30th anniversary? 30th anniversary of Legend of Zelda. We also have the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. Oh, wow. And also the 30th anniversary of... Metroid. Metroid. So, let's start with, uh, let's start, oh, and there's also like some, also anniversary for Donkey Kong, I think it is. Or was, or was that one, I know this, I think, because I remember on the, on the, on the 25th anniversary of, um, um, Zelda, they were <coughs> talking about uh, some of the other anniversaries that were obscured by Zelda, and I think Donkey Kong was one of them. I wouldn't be surprised while it came out pretty close to this, around that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the original Donkey Kong in the arcades. Um, but anyway, so let's talk about, I think, um, let's start with the biggest one, Zelda. Zelda, yes. You know, we have, obviously, Twilight Princess coming out in a couple of weeks. Yes. We have uh, the Zelda U coming out, uh, hopefully sometime later on this year. Presumably. Presumably. Well, it, it got back its uh, 2016 date. It did? Yes. Okay, I did not, I was not aware of that. Yeah. And then also, uh, <laughs> we have uh, Hyrule Warriors. Uh, in the 3DS coming out. Yay. Yay. I know, yay. And um, what else? And um, I think that's about it, but still, oh, and obviously the the, con- the concert season for... Um, oh, yeah, the, I'm, going, I'm going to that. I'm yeah, going you're to going that. to that. Well, mm-hmm. nice. So, what do you... Um, what do you... Um, I haven't even announced anything. Nintendo hasn't officially announced anything. I think... No, in, but isn't this the end of their fiscal year? When Yeah, last week. Last yeah. week, right? So they've kind of gotten all that stuff kind of done squared away. Now's the time where they kind of start gearing up for announcements. I mean, what, E3 in June, Yeah, E3 right? in June, yes. So it's a f- really only a few months away, so they're starting to make plans. I'm sure we're going to hear about things over the next couple of months or so, mm-hmm. or the hints of things. And it's kind of how the ball usually rolls. Yeah. So now that that fiscal year is kind of done, they kind of have a direction more or less set. We're going to start hearing about the announcements. And presumably, NX... Again, Nintendo, obviously, like we said, has not said anything, Mm -hmm. but all indicators are pointing towards an NX release this year. And interestingly, that they say because it might be a two-part system, Mm -hmm. maybe just part of it released this year, like the handheld part. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. Um, I honestly hope that uh, they wait one more year. Only because um, I think people who, you know, obviously Zelda is the biggest franchise they have. I don't care what they, what Mario brings to the table. I mean, Zelda is the one that moves consoles more than Mario. And um, I feel those, all, feel that all those people that buy a Wii U just to play the new Zelda, they'll f- it'll be kind of like a big of a... I'd be upset. Exactly. I'd be upset. I'd mean, buy it for the NX. I would not buy it for the Wii U. Mm-hmm. I would kind of feel like, frankly, why do I have the Wii U? But been some good games on it mm-hmm. don't get me wrong but they've all come out in the last year or so the ones I really liked mm-hmm. like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X an amazing game that I still have not finished but really yeah. really good <laughs> but also uh, the Windmaker HD awesome collection mm-hmm. not collection awesome game but it easily could have been put to the next console the NX yeah um, and I didn't play it very much but what else I can't looking back there's not a lot that was for the Wii U for me mm-hmm. That I'm like, I'm glad I got this console. Yeah, in in this in the in again in you know, <laughs> and that's the thing that you know for for gamers like you, you know, you feel like is it has shortcomings. And even though for gamers a gamer like me, even though I also think that there's not enough games. I mean, I have gotten so many games for the system. I mean, anything from the the the, the launch third parties for Mass Effect, uh, Need for Speed, uh, Assassin's Creed, you know. Uh, and obviously all the Nintendo titles like Super Mario 3D World, uh, both Zelda games, you know, the yeah. Wind Waker and uh, Hyrule Warriors. And um, gosh, you know, I can look over there and I can tell you what is it, you know. Um, a whole collection. Yeah, exactly. Cool. I have I have about 
uh, the last Call of Duty 60, for the Wii. Yeah, I have sixty Wii U games. They made the that retail ready? retail with <laughs> Wii U games. And that's not even counting the eShop games. I mean, the eShop. This this console has become an, an uh, uh, neat, uh, indie console. You know, that's what has kept it. Kept See, it going. That's what I'd like them to do. Uh, not, not a side topic. We just a little uh, your reaction here with the Wii Shop. I would mm -hmm. love them to make that account wide so mm -hmm. anything I buy in the eShop that's like older stuff mm -hmm. plays right on my 3DS as well like a Wii U 3DS because that's what the you know my Nintendo no way really well they actually they started signups for uh, pre-registration for my Nintendo and um, there is rumors they might have uh, open integration for both that you uh, because mm -hmm. they're talking about re-downloads re so you might be able to uh it's not gonna, the, the account is not going to be no, no longer um, um, console bound, but it's actually going to be all your downloads going to be uh, like, account bound, like Xbox. Like Xbox. But that, again, oh, so that's nice. just a rumor because some of the translation they were doing from the, the Japanese from the from the Japanese uh, fiscal year uh, report, and they were talking about the my Nintendo account being uh, something about re-download. So. You know, that makes sense. I, frankly, I, I would expect to buy them again, irregardless. Mm. And I frankly, I would. I didn't buy that many. I would assume also if they do, they'd do something like they had like half off or whatever. Mm -hmm. But if they could tie it to all one account from then on, that would be really nice. And that would actually be probably buy more. Mm -hmm. That's the thing for me for the Wii U. I only have it for Zelda for Metroid, which I did not get. And um, maybe a few, a few other key, you know, uh, like party games like more... Like, um, Smash Brothers, of course, is epic, and uh, Mario Kart. It's okay. But if I got it for very few games, mm -hmm. and a lot of the games that I wanted to get for the console either didn't hit or were underwhelming mm -hmm. to me, for me, as a secondary console. I yeah. expected more from it, but I would buy a lot more knowing that it would carry over to another console. Like, yeah. like, you know, like if, if that's the case, like with my Xbox, like Xbox is doing now, is I can now play select few 360 games on my uh, on my Xbox One and the backwards compatible because they're within that catalog so if Nintendo does that especially with the older games that are so much easily, easier to emulate that would be kind of cool I'd, I'd buy them and you that's go. something that uh, Nintendo excels uh, that, uh, over anybody else you know and it's backwards compatibility <coughs> I mean you know ever since the GameCube and, and the Wii you know the, I mean it's only been a couple of generations but I mean you could play every almost almost one hundred percent of all the GameCube library on the Wii, you know. Whereas uh, Sony, I mean, uh, Xbox always struggle with that uh, compatibility. Yes. And even the even the Wii U, which was a um, um, HD console over the, um, the the standard definition console that we was, you could also play almost every single Wii game on the on the Wii U, you know. And the the NX, some of the stuff that um in the report, get the fiscal report we're talking about is gonna co is gonna come bundled with a uh, sensor bar, yeah. Which means it's I don't two see it, it's two generations. Yeah. Backwards compatible. So it, it's <laughs> gonna be at least uh, Wii U compatible, you know. So that's the beauty of it. And if it's two generations uh, to the Wii compatible, oh my gosh, they have a, a, they, they, they have like library. gold mine right gold mine right there. You know, they're gonna strike gold right there. But this console. Uh, again, but, the hedges, but, console but, has to look different though. Like to me, yeah. if they made it look like the old uh, Super Nintendo Super NES, mm -hmm. oh, just, that, they that, changed that. it a little bit so yeah. it looked new. But I'm like, it looks it's distinctive enough from the PS4, from the Xbox One, from the Wii and the Wii U. It just mm -hmm. looks different, and it screams Nintendo. Get those stupid little purple power buttons that don't do anything at this time, but they're just there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be a sweet console. <laughs> yeah, that would be definitely uh, excellent. So, um, now how about um, the anniversaries, you know? Um, I think um, we definitely need to talk about... I mean, you know, Zelda anniversary is very self-explanatory. I mean, you know, Nintendo's going to pull, you know, pull all the bells and whistles for Zelda. I think the new Nintendo Direct probably is going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks because Zelda's anniversary is actually, what, the 25th of this month? Oh, really? oh, the twenty second, twenty fifth. That's 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 coming up pretty soon. So it is a given. Nintendo's gonna just you know. You can do a all, poster. All, all the, yeah, exactly. All the bell, all the bells and whistles. Now, I think Nintendo should because you know, Pokemon 
is totally managed and owned by the Pokemon company. I mean, Nintendo has very little to do with Pokemon nowadays. You know, it's all about the Pokemon company. Hey, Bill, they get you a Kai watch trying to compete. Yeah, true. But uh, what about Metro, man? I think that's a series that uh, has Shh, a very good... That, listen. What? That's Metroid. <laughs> Silence. Silence, exactly. It's, it's the forgotten child. The forgotten middle child. You know? Um, <coughs> Metroid deserves a, a anniversary, an anniversary celebration. I mean, you can't tell me Nintendo can come up with a double anniversary celebration for both Zelda and Metroid in the same year. I, I, I agree. And uh, frankly, what I wish that they would do, at this point, I, don't worry, I want a new game for them, and I think we will have one on the NX. I'm hoping they're having a West, uh, certain Western developer mm -hmm. uh, take a look at that. Mm -hmm. But... If they could give me the Prime Collection, all three, remastered with appropriate controls for the Wii U? Fuck yeah. I'm all oh, yeah. about that. That would be... Thank you, Nintendo. It's still not what I'm absolutely wanting, but it's it's a nice little bandage there, you know? It's a little token. Yeah, and it, and it is possible because, I mean, look at Splatoon. You know, Splatoon has both <coughs> motion controls and standard controls. You know, they, 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 they map both. So you can't tell me they can't do that for both fans, you know, for like, for instance, me that I love uh, Metroid Prime's um, um, IR controls. They are almost uh, second to none, you know, for the Wii generation. And also have the old classic controls for the GameCube generation, you know, that, that made the game, that made the series uh, the best it was. Um, you know, release just classic uh, controls, you know. I mean, it is possible. So it, it would be amazing if Nintendo were to remaster that, that in HD. Nice. Yeah, give, yeah, give it a Twilight Princess yes. slash Wind Waker treatment to the Metro Prime. Come on, it's going to take them, what, six months to do that? I mean, surely it's three games, but I mean, I'm sure they can they can cook it up. and. Or or they don't have to do that for me. They can come out and officially say, Other M is stricken from the record. And I'll I will sing its praises for days. You know what? The day you get other M strict for the record, that'll be for me to get the a minish cap strict from the record. Because people, if you take the minish cap away from Zelda, you can put every single game in a single believable timeline. Not this PO's piece of shit three three if Link dies if Link wins. No, Link didn't die, Link won. Come on, get it together, people. Get it through your heads. He didn't die, he won. Okay? Okay. It's about Metroid. It's about Metroid, yeah. Anyway, uh, what else do we have? Um, yeah, the, the NX, uh, there's a strong rumors that it's a dual console. Uh, you know, half a hybrid console, I mean to say. Uh, a portable so I can carry component. the Wii tablet with me places now. Yes, because uh, some of the resolutions they were talking about um, in, the, in the report, uh, <laughs> obviously it's going to be 1080 native, uh, 4K capable. And uh, also, um, he has. Uh, it was. T it also talks about a, a nine hundred a nine hundred uh, uh, re resolution uh, screen. And everyone I heard of talking about that was up in arms because they didn't hear the ten eighty p part. And I actually oh. haven't heard it from me lately yeah. yet. I haven't looked at those sources. Um, but everyone's like, "Oh my God, Nintendo's gonna do nine hundred p. It's terrible. It's stupid." Oh. Was like, the Wii U right now is outputting games natively at ten eighty p. It is stupid to them think. to go backwards mm -hmm. it only makes sense if you're thinking this has to be this little this yeah, little separate screen. screen which is awesome because what's the resolution of the 3ds like yeah the 3ds is something it's, small it's, yeah it's like 240 i don't know yeah it's, it's a very very small <laughs> resolution and even the new 3ds i mean it's still a small it's a small screen a small resolution which you, you can still output beautiful graphics. I mean, with the proper in the in the yeah, proper no. hands. I mean, look that, at, look that's at, more about art style. Yeah. Than anything. And the games on 3ds to me still look beautiful. Yeah. But I mean, but you know, but going back to the screen, I mean, it, it is a second screen. You know, uh, Wii U style. So is, I think they 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 were going with the right direction with the Wii U. They tried to do something, in home, semi portable. You know, for for the entire family to still be in the same room as opposed to one kid in the bedroom playing video games and, and mom and dad playing, uh, you know, watching the shows on TV. So still keep the family together in the same room. But I think here they actually go in the extra step with the 3DS, uh, you know, style that, you know, fully portable. And, and see, I really like, I was hoping for some more, and probably we'll get some more, 
Nintendo dedicated use for that dual screen because I haven't seen it in very even Nintendo's own games I haven't really seen like this is an argument for the dual screen right here I know Nintendo can and I but um like you're saying that full evolution of you can now take this this is a console is basically I'm guessing they're probably not going to refresh the 3DS line anymore it's going to be this yeah. and X thing right yeah it seems to me that way so it's better already you can take full games probably at a lesser quality but take full retail games and play them on that yeah that is epic especially also because um i, I read the report that um <laughs> they put on the same category uh, they, they they they're doing some restructuring in the company yep and i think the the portable uh research development department it was gonna also um, merge with the with the main uh research development so they put in both the portable uh the 3ds and and the main console the both research department they put in Putting them under the same department, yep. So they're blending both their, their, um, their, uh, you know, the portable department and, and and the main console. And I think it's because of the of the whole, um, um, what's it called, um, mobile revolution and how 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 popular mobile gaming has become, with their nine nine to you know, free to nine nine cent games. I'm sorry, that I'm thing sorry. Nintendo is is fearing for the life of their portable division which still is unrivaled by any other company i i frankly i would but, say uh, they don't have to worry at least for the next foreseeable two to three years mm-hmm. seems to me how the hardware changes right mm-hmm. but again it's because nintendo and the developers that they have making games for that console yeah if that dries up then there is reason to worry mm-hmm. but there's no sign of that drying up at the no, moment no there's no sign it of may not grow like it's been but they're but, not going to lose that base. That's yeah, there. and in, and Nintendo's not one that waits <laughs> for the for the plan to dry and die. I mean, they always try to evolve because they know that in in, evol- in evolution and change that is survival. You know, they don't they don't sit in the laurels waiting for, for for uh you know for one thing to die off before they think of the new. I mean, we see we see it with, we we seen it with the with the you know in the entire lineup you know from the NES, then how they evolved to the Super NES. And then within the Super NES, the FS, FX chip, you know, and then the N64 with the with the motion con- the no motion controls, the joystick, the the first fully 3D console, the Rumble Pack, the joystick Rumble Pack, the expansion, you know, the pack. expansion pack, which I think is an idea. They they still need to bring back, be able to expand the memory. <clears throat> Every console should have that option. You can play, but unlike the unlike the uh, Nintendo games. They won't limit. It wouldn't let you. Wouldn't limit you for playing any games. Mm-hmm. But it would be like adding in something else to your PC, right? Mm-hmm. It will enhance the games, either higher frame rate, more uh, visual or particle yeah, effects. Yeah, exactly. But nothing's locked off from you, but just more pretty, so mm-hmm. and for more money, and it makes sense. And it will. It will la- make the console last longer. Yes, exactly. You know? Even if you were just to be able to go from, you know. Just, just, the, just the RAM. Just expand the RAM from the, from a basic uh, two, three gigabytes to up to four, five, six gigabytes or whatever. You know, I think it has to be actually in pairs. But I just expand it uh, to the point that uh, it still extends the life of your, of your, of your console. You know, I mean, because processor speed, I mean, is 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 up there. I mean, right now processor chips are so so cheap. You know, part no no pun intended, that um. You know, I think you can get a decent process, processors uh, processor right now with with um, in 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 a, in a console, and it will still last you for a long time. I mean, my laptop, I have an old laptop that is almost ten years old, and I'm running seamlessly. I'm running Windows um, Windows Ten in it, and is and is because the the software right now software development has become to a point that they're able to squeeze to maximize that the software potential with a minimal amount of resources. And it's the same thing with consoles, you know, yeah. they can actually pull that off. I mean, obviously, again, they will use an example. You know, sure, it doesn't have the, the OS or the Wii U doesn't have all the bells and whistles <laughs> that the Xbox uh, One has, but it has beautiful games that run at a better resolution, native 1080 more than, uh, I mean, well, probably by now, probably it's, it, no more because, you know, obviously the Xbox One has much many more games than uh, the Wii U. But I mean, in the, in the very beginning, the Wii U was able to run have more uh, 1080 native games than the Xbox One did, you know. Yep, absolutely. So anyway, yeah, that's something that they need to go back and uh, and just keep on researching and stuff. Because Could you imagine, uh, maybe, I mean, still be marketing, but imagine if there was a little add-on like that for the Wii U. I'd be so I'd be so happy. Yeah. Just boom, automatic, instant power. Again, it's not cu- cutting off any games. 
you could still play the same games. Like, oh, like um, case in point, uh, the new Zelda, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine you could, you could play that, but you get added benefits, obviously, by having it. Yeah, your frame rate could probably go up to 60 frames a second, depending on what magic chip yeah. you have put in there. Um, higher resolution, maybe, or again, more, uh, just more pretties on the screen. Or you could not play with it, and mm -hmm. it would be the same beautiful looking, and that's the thing they should do. They should not show it looking better until they release the, the um, the album, but when they show it like at E3, they show you just the base game, and it still looks pretty. It still looks awesome. Mm -hmm. it, but if you buy the chip, yeah, boom, boom, it's better. Yes. And you know, and right now speaking about not showing it, you know, better until you know the time comes or whatnot. I was thinking, when Nintendo announces and unveils the the NX, I only ask for one thing. I don't care what it does, you know. I mean, I'm a big Nintendo fan, and I'm gonna buy it regardless. You know, that's just me. I just ask for one thing from Onuma. If they're gonna show a realistic Zelda tech demo to show the potential of the console, you better freaking give me that realistic but Zelda see, game. That's why they. Sh that's why they shouldn't do that. They should show us a realistic Metroid. But, you know, it just it's it's like, O four two freaking Onuma. <laughs> They did it in in in, uh, in Space World two thousand. They showed this realistic Zelda for the for the GameCube and came out with fucking <laughs> Toon Link. Look, and not, and, is... and, not, and not the same thing again, you know. They showed this realistic tech demo of a Twilight Princess engine modified. It looked amazing. It looked awesome. Freaking um, uh, what was the name of that boss again? Um, um, was that? No, no, no. The, the the spider one. What's it called? What's his name? Goma. Uh, yeah, um, 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 uh, Goma. They show an awesome Goma, you know, <laughs> it's scary as hell, intimidating, only to come out with another, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the art style of the new Zelda Wii U coming out, but come on, it's like, you know, and then, and then showing that tech demo, people, when they announced um, um, the, the Twilight Princess uh, HD, we thought, oh my gosh, you know, they're actually, it's, it's, it's going to be awesome, like the tech demo. No, because everybody forgot that the tech demo was built from the ground up, Whereas Twilight <laughs> Princess is just being upscale and repolished. Nintendo would not do that. As much as I actually want to play that that game, but I wouldn't be like more of an open world RPG. It would be beautiful in a Zelda still. Mm -hmm. But they would not do that until their sales actually start to fall. and be like, oh shit moment. Hit the red button. Mm -hmm. Ultra high quality Zelda comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I actually like... Um, the, speaking of the RPG elements, I actually liked uh, Skyward Sword's RPG elements. You know how you can upgrade your shield and upgrade your weapons, and you know collect the different resources and stuff like that. That, that was that was pretty cool. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, you know a little expansion into the RPG elements that Zelda has always had, but it's always been minimal. And no cat, you're not getting up here, dude. <laughs> you know, no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Yes. Um, like I say, I don't remember, but I think Donkey Kong also celebrating its anniversary this same year, and again, it's been... Um, I would love them to take another crack at a... At the cat? Yeah. 3D... No, not 3D, but like a... Donkey Kong 64? But good? Yeah, Donkey Kong... Oh, no, no, oh, here, because well, this is what I want, what I really want, and but for Mario. Mm -hmm. I want a new, another 3D Mario platform in the vein of Mario 64. Yes. Because well, I, did, I haven't played Galaxy, I, I dabbled in Galaxy and I hear they're amazing. But there's still not still nostalgia not of what I want. I don't want 64. I want them to reiterate. Re yeah. the same, the but same formula. Yeah. Put Mario and DK in the same game and do something weird with that. Having that This cool. time around, having Donkey Kong st steal the girl. Like oh, in, that would be cool. And be the villain again. And then once you finish it, you can actually play it from DK's perspective. Oh, I oh, like that. That would be so awesome. And then Mario being the villain that, actually, that he actually is, according to Game Theorist. Um, then what, yeah, that would be an awesome uh, Donkey Kong game. Come on, Nintendo, do it. I know, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite part of uh, Donkey Kong 64 was actually just the arcade, <laughs> <laughs> the arcade Easter egg, and that's only because it was actually a ROM from the original arcade game. Yep. Something that, something that has always baffled me. In the Wii, Nintendo had the, the arcade uh, virtual console, you know, had Sega and all these uh, other companies releasing arcade versions of their games, but Nintendo never released arcade version of Donkey Kong. 
they only released the, the NES version. I don't know mm. if it's maybe some right, uh, you know, copyright related issues or I don't know what is what's the deal, but I mean, that's weird. The 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 the, the, the arcade version is you know ten times better than you know a hundred <laughs> times better than the NES version. I mean, and it's original. Who knows? Anyway, um, I think it's a good time to stop. Uh, we have babbled a lot in different topics. We cover anniversaries. We cover an ex. We cover ranting. Yeah. We cover, uh, we you know, Metroid and what we want to see and, you know. And, um... Ooh, I heard Smash Brothers was going to be a title for... Oh, yeah, a launch title. Launch title. So Which most likely it's going to be a remake or an upgrade of uh, this, this one because... Which I will not buy unless... Mm -hmm. It's not backwards comparable? No, I'll just I still, still have my Wii U. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be worth dirt at that point. Um, unless I add story mode. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, right there. Yes. I want a uh, space emissary. <laughs> just, yes. Just, oh, yeah. You know, that guy needs to get off his freaking pedestal. He is a prima donna. You know, he is a crybaby prima donna, and he has said it himself that he was just having a tantrum. That's why he didn't put space emissary. He needs to get off his pedestal and just give people what they want and yeah we want to sadly that's also that's DLC worth paying for if they would do oh, it oh yeah yeah you release for 20 but, bucks the space I'm say I'll buy for 20 bucks frankly I just want to play it with Mega Man and see the Mega Man because it's <laughs> I want Mega Man so bad <laughs> I know that was good that was good um and also um I think one more thing to cover um coming up uh, in the next few weeks um we're thinking of uh, rebranding the, the the channel you know giving it a little f a fresh look i know it's only been less than a year that we have the the name and everything but i think you know it's time for a new direction and um, i hope you guys enjoy it so stay tuned for those that subtle change and rebranding hope you guys like it not so subtle anyway <laughs> <laughs> so um anyway let us know when you th what you think in the comments below uh what are your takes and thoughts on all these different anniversaries the nx um metroid donkey kong zelda um what is your ideal nintendo launch lineup nice let us know in the comments below in the meantime don't forget to hit that share like and subscribe buttons and thank you very much for watching this was jimmy along with Mega Man dust Wishing you a great day, and until our next weekend of gaming, we are signing out.